because you have the responsibility of being the one and only you and manifesting your gifts for everyone and for yourself. And then you have the responsibility of acting as an authentic piece of matter in the universe. All right, and that idea of authenticity is a really big deal as far as I'm concerned um, because uh, I think that's what, that's what we're searching for, some kind of authenticity um, in everything that we do. And so I started looking at the body from these two aspects. And they're not two different bodies. They're just two different aspects of yourself. And in the end, if you study them each, like if you manifest your great gifts, and then you act appropriately as a piece of matter, and then you join them together, then you have something else that's very, 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 very wonderful and very peaceful and very blissful. And I know we all find our bliss in different ways. And this is my way of approaching bliss. I mean, I feel that my, I'm almost 80 now, and I feel that um, I'm very peaceful. And you, it's really, you can't upset me. It really takes a lot. And um, I find it very easy to love people. And I didn't, I didn't uh, go out and say, well, I need to learn to love people. But I just started practicing being conscious in my body. And through that process of it, it's like any yoga path, because that's what yoga is. It's a way towards finding that blissfulness through some practice, whatever it is. And we want to find out, first of all, how to align myself with my gravitation, which is also the star vector. So this is what I, I play around with. As a, as a piece of matter, uh, there are four forces in the universe, the strong force, the weak force, the electromagnetic force, the gravitational force. The strong force and the weak force are about holding your molecules together. You don't have much to do about it. Wait, you can't go like, molecules, I don't like this. I'm going to change it. I'm not going to apply it. Give up. <laughs> We're just doing it. The electromagnetic force is the attraction between two oppositional forces. And um, it actually, if the strong force and the weak force weren't there, the electromagnetic force would turn us all into a piece of just like, <clears throat> we would all just stick together. We've got protons and neutrons and all these things that should be attracted to each other. And the strong force and the weak force say, okay, we're going to let this, we're going to disobey this law of attraction and let these things spin around each other and exist together without them joining together. So, anyway, the, the force of the universe that we need to most pay attention to is the gravitational force, correct? That's, that's the big deal, right? Is that a big deal? So, or not? Yes. The problem is that we, we treat we treat our we treat our situation on Earth because of because of the things that we can do. The things as an animal, as a piece of matter, we can stand up and disobey all the laws of gravity, and we don't die until we die. We do die in many ways, but we don't die in that specific way of actually being gone. Okay. But um, if you see somebody who's walking like this. Some people might if they had a physical ailment, but most people can do that without 
that's what I'm doing is like, whoa, right? And you recognize that as, see, you know so much things, that, so many things that you don't know you know. But this is this is gravity going like, whoa, right? You're going, dig 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 all right? So that's one thing is that you you can sing on motion, and you should be able to sing on motion. But if I do this. So let's see if we can, what we're going to do is bounce. 